And this is a short demonstration of the two plugins we implemented in our first application example for Manivol, in which we focused on the software development target group. We'll open the dataset, use our newly implemented analytics plugin and inspect the data in the new view plugin. First, we open an empty project containing only the two system plugins, the data hierarchy and data properties view. To load our dataset of interest, we open an image loader. I already navigated to the correct directory previously. We see an overview of all image data in this folder, which right now is one hyperspectral image dataset. Next, we open an image viewer through the context menu of the image dataset, which is listed as derived from a point dataset. In this example, we will only display single channels as grayscale images, but other display modes are possible. Our analytics plugin works on image data types. To open the plugin, we select it in the context menu as with the image viewer before. This will create a new output dataset derived not from our input image, but the parental point dataset. This placement is a deliberate choice by the plugin developer and other configurations can be implemented as well. The plugin settings that we have implemented using Manivolt's actions are displayed in the data properties. We can see any parameter of the analytics library that we want to be exposed to the user here. We now trigger the embedding computation of the spatially informed TSNE plugin and use its computation time to open two view plugins. First, the parallel coordinates plugin that we implemented in the example section and a scatter plot. We can rearrange the layout of the view plugins to our liking before proceeding. The analytics plugin creates a two-dimensional embedding, which we now drag and drop into the scatterplot widget. Similarly, we drag the point dataset that holds our high-dimensional data to the parallel coordinates. Since this viewer is D3-based, handing a 200-dimensional dataset with thousands of data points from the main C++ application to the JavaScript site might take some seconds. In fact, displaying all 200 dimensions in this parallel coordinates implementation leads to quite a bit of clutter, and we might want to restrict the view to some subset of dimensions. We can use a dimension selection action to define any subset we like. I prepared a short list here already that we can load in real quick. Now that everything is set up, we can start exploring the data. We can make selections in any view that will be propagated to all open views that show the same linked or derived data. 